We're trying to work out what we're going to have for breakfast. How we can, no, we're trying to work out like how to utilize meals out of the fridge and freezer before we leave now. I'm sorry, we just worked out what we're going to have for breakfast. There's literally like, we don't have the car here because the car's at top end, so we can't go anywhere and get anything. The fridge is getting picked up today, so we've got to clear it. And look at the freezer. Yeah, but hold on a sec. Behind here is like all frozen foods and new foods, and we're not eating that because we didn't like those certain meals of new foods. Down here is just vegetables, mm. frozen vegetables. That's like breast milk upon breast milk. Breast milk, breast milk. <laughs> so our breakfast this morning. I don't have any plates. Hot dogs and, and eggs, and I know the hot dogs don't look that great, the sausages. Not yet, they're not good. But we're gonna chuck them in the air fryer. So this is my plate. And I'm gonna make a smiley face because Alex made me some yeah. nice breakfast. <laughs> and that's Alex's. And Ari is eating hers. Ari's got the best breakfast of us all they have. She's yeah. got bacon, egg, hash browns, chocolate toast. Thank you. That's okay. Say goodbye to our fridge. Goodbye. This was actually the hardest item to sell, you know. Was it? Yeah, I'm glad to see this go finally. Thank I've you. So many people. I've sold it only for four hundred and fifty dollars, by the way. Yeah, but the ice machine doesn't work. Yes, it does. Does it? We just don't have it plumbed. Oh, that's right. It's not into the we wall. We don't have the water to it. Thank you, fridge. We appreciate you, fridge. But go away. I had like the most low ball offers. People were like, I'll give you ninety bucks. Pick up today. What? Hey, good effort for trying though. This is it. This is like the moment where you think, shit, this is really happening now. We don't have a fridge. We got the little fridge outside, but. It takes me back to when we first moved in here, hey? Yeah. We didn't have a fridge for like, how long? Four, five weeks? Let's get into it. Let's yeah. get it done. People are coming here at oh, 12 o'clock. today. People are coming here at 12 o'clock to pick up the fridge, so we're gonna get. to clean it nicely. Cracking. And we really can't take any of this stuff in the van. We don't have the van to put it into. Yeah, that's right. We've got to take an esky. Wow. Yesterday was a pretty shit night for me to sleep. I don't expect to sleep anymore. If I don't sleep, I don't sleep. She wasn't even bad. It was Rocco. That's what I'm saying. Rocco was waking her. Literally. And Rocco night, was waking us. She didn't get down till like nine o'clock, and we were so tired last night that we like KO'd at nine o'clock. And then Rocco decided that if we put him on his bed to sleep, he doesn't want to sleep on his bed. He wants to be on our bed. And he'll, he'll yeah. and he'll get up, we'll put him on his bed, and he'll just shake the whole time. And his ears, they sound like so loud. Helicopter going off. So that's why we can't have him in the van with us when we sleep. It's just gonna be, it's just gonna be too hard. And yeah. number one, I'm sore now because we had to put him on the bed because he wouldn't just. And that's a king size bed. Yeah, I just, it is what it is. I'm sore. My back now is killing me because what he does is when he lays down, he's such a big dog. <laughs> that he lays up against you. He likes to have something to lay up on. He is solid. Yes. <laughs> and then he'll have a nice bed in the in the car and he could just sleep in it. And we'll even put a baby monitor in there so we can look out for him. In the end of the day, it's not Rocco's fault. It's our fault. Yeah. We've made him very high maintenance. Very high maintenance. I think I said to Luke at like three o'clock in the morning, he'd wake him Scarlet up for the second or the third time. And I said to Luke, I was like, he, 100%, he's not coming in the van. Like, that's it, decision made, I'm not having it. Like, it's gonna make it so much harder and it's incredible. Yeah. We slept, if you, did we sleep with him when he was a baby? Can't remember. Yeah. So if you get a dog and you don't want him on, on your bed, don't put him on the bed. Never do that, because now he jumps on the bed constantly. But I'll get that out of him in the van, because he won't be in the van. Oh, to get out of it whether he likes it or not. Because he won't be in the van. But before we leave, we do have to like deep clean his bedding. Because I wanted to smell nice at least for him in the car. And yeah. wash it every week and stuff. We'll get that clip on fan for him and put a little baby motto in there. Oh, he'll be looked after. He'll be spoiled in the van. He'll probably like the van more than the, because he hears Scarlet waking time. and all that. So he'll probably get a better sleep. And if you actually remember back to the first episode about my 19 pairs of bikinis, I've got someone coming to pick them up now. She here? Yeah. Oh my god, let's go check it out. How much did you sell them for? I uh, 25 bucks for them all, but still $25 is $25. How many was there? I think there's seven. Here's seven? No, wasn't there 20? I chucked some because these ones are brand new. The other ones I'd worn so many times, mm. I was like, I'm not going to sell them. I love the smell of bathers. Is that yeah, that smell. Yeah. How are you going? Oh, I'm so 
finish. So that's actually crazy because Gemma that just came to pick up all those bathers actually watched our YouTube video of me selling the bathers and then found the listing and messaged me. So thank you Gemma for picking them up. I think she caught me videoing <laughs> Alex going to the pool <laughs> and I was like, yeah, sorry if you can. <laughs> but thank you Gemma. Let's get back to this fridge, hey? Ari has been, honestly, the last couple of days, how good have you been Ari? Yeah. And you've been helping your mummy and daddy a lot, haven't you? You're bittersweet, hey? Yeah. Perfectly clean. Aria did a good job, hey? Oh, that's not clean. Bit of chocolate. <laughs> so, obviously, like we said before, the water isn't plumbed in the fridge here because we don't have, like, the plumbing behind. And being a rental, we can't do it. And so Luke and I... <laughs> We used to make our ice cream cone and put ice magic all over it and we used to want the ice magic to go like really like hard. So we used to put like our ice cream cones in here to let them super freeze, remember? Good times. Yeah. One two. How many dead roaches do you think there are under there? I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> That's on the roaches. Oh my god, there's breaking glass and everything under there. Actually, not that bad behind you. It's pretty it. fucking gross. So you think that's not bad? You reckon? That's gross. Did you get that bad, mate? Really? Yeah, it's alright. Can you pull the plug then? Yeah. Oh man, they come up. They come quick to pick up the fridge. Aria, where are we gonna put your apple juice now? And the carpet. It's gonna go warm. We've got no ice crystals now either. Got no water crystals. This is a bit of a surreal moment. We are paying our last rent for this house. Ready? Go. How much is that for two weeks? One, oh, two and a bit weeks. One, two, two, four point four three. Ready? Five seventy a week. Paid. All done. That's sad. So first meal we're making without any pots. We got one pan. No. So obviously we just got rid of the microwave and the fridge. Aria then turned around now and she's like, I'm hungry. And I was like, oh, what do you feel like? And she's like, a sandwich. I'm like, oh my God, I've got no bread because I just got rid of the fridge. Like I've got nothing that I can make. And I said, oh, I can make you like a red sauce spaghetti because we've got you food. So I was like, I'll put it in the microwave. And then as I said, she's like, yeah. And I'm like, how do I heat that up? So now we're trying to heat it up in a pan. So basically what we're doing, every cupboard, we're just getting everything out that we don't need, like this cupboard here. And everything that's going in the bin is just piled up everywhere now. Another one done. All right, what toys are in this bath? All right, what do you want to throw out? All of it. Here. Oh, they stink. Yeah, they stink. What's wrong? So you heard me say it once and I'm going to say it again. Scarlett is a serial cat napper. Do you agree? Like during the day she naps like if all. Yeah, she doesn't nap. She's been napping now for two hours. We're smashing things. Got music pumping. Her doors open. She's asleep. I'm going to quickly show you what it looks like at the moment. So this here is all bin. This here is all bin. This is ready to go. This is cleaned. This is ready to go. It's cleaned. This is ready to go. It's cleaned. This is the house's stuff. This room is ready to go, it's cleaned out. And this room we're gonna go through right now. Next room. But let's see where Alex is. There you are. Let's, do, let's do this one. Because after this room here, there's this room. Then we can that put will... the kids to bed. Yes. We'll spend an hour with and them. All the rooms are empty. We're done. Right, so I think that what we do in here. <laughs> so this is all Scarlett's next size of clothing. So we're gonna take. Yeah. What's this, this is why I got the vacuum seal bags. Next size of clothing, the scarlet. No, oh, so cute. So cute. That can go in the bin. Bin and bin. I can hear the ocean. You can what? Hear the ocean here. You can hear the ocean. Bin? I'm gonna put this in our room. Oh my god. Can I share what our room looks like at the moment? 
have a look at that room. So this is all. Oh, it's not that this much. Is this is all keep That's in this room. Mommy, no, no, it's not Mommy. all keep. That that goes back to Victoria. N not all of it. So that Selvery's two boxes of Vic. Yeah. This is keep. This is all sell. We fucking lock everything, man. I think we just. If I'm Mommy. overweight. Mommy, I reckon we're gonna be overweight. Who's this now? <coughs> I reckon we are. So basically, I think if you're just tuning in, we're mo about to move into a caravan, and I think we're going to need a cleanse. Once we cleanse once, I think we're going to need to go through everything again, check how heavy we are, and then keep doing it until we can fit everything we need in the vehicle in the van. I made these for Father's Day. How little she is. First of a newspaper article, we're in Geelong. What was it? We look really young, hey? Geelong Post or whatever. Which is pretty cool because we made it in Geelong Post. We're living there. And then we came up to Cairns and we made it in Cairns post too, so yeah, it was a that's pretty, man. that's cool. You know we're not going to fit all that in the boat, how it is at the moment. That can't come. I'm going to vacuum seal bag it. Okay. Leave it with me. <laughs> I moved from Victoria to Cairns, I can do this to, from Cairns to Sunshine Coast sure. How it's going to happen, we'll find out because I don't me. think it's going to fit. Leave it with me. I moved a whole house up here. I believe in you. Good. I'm backing you 100%. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm here to support you because that's what we do, we support each other. I'll make it fit. I know you will. We will make it fit. That you're not going to see out your back window, it's just going to fit. My coat will be like a sardine. So in all honesty, why did you think I got a 4499 JBM upgrade? The weight, yes. <laughs> Mommy, I need you to I don't even know what to say to that. So we're in a little bit of a pickle. Because this is everything Aria wants to take. And I don't think it's that bad. Mommy, look at it. I actually think she's done really well. She has. That's all she's got. So the answer to that question, because I'm still thinking about it, because I don't know what entails of like how much weight I can have. I don't know how to judge it. Yeah, we're so, so looking. So for me, looking at it, it's like fuck. We're overweight. We're gonna be overweight. Yeah, but there's also soul stuff in there. You're looking at it too big. That's what I'm saying. So when you ask that question, maybe after the first run that we do, I'll say to you on the next one. I'm actually feeling a bit confident. We don't have that much. And then I walk in here and it's just a different fucking game, just a fucking different story. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. What's wrong? She wants to go to sleep already. She probably thinks it's like her bedtime, yeah? You yeah, should be tired. Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright This room's done? Oh my god, I didn't Looked even know it was empty Walk What's the wardrobe too? Didn't we do that? Anything we else? smashed it Yeah, nothing in there, empty, this room's done So I can see this Yeah, Aria's room just sleeping. And Wait. that could just go in the car. Done. The only rooms that are left is the garage. This room. Just pretty much done. Just the get outside. And outside. But that's bin. And no, the table. Honestly, I think that at the Tom rate I reckon we'll finish tomorrow. Percentage? How much do you think we're done? 80. I reckon 75, 82, yeah. I reckon tomorrow we'll have 95 done. Finished. Tomorrow will be finished. Yeah. We're still gonna put all the globes in, all the um, pull all the globes in, because there's a lot of blown lights. So we went to Bunnings today. We bought some globes. Like, look, that one's blown. It's so bad. Yeah. Look at all the glo the globes that are blown. Sing with your ears and sing everything you see. Today is our last day in this house. I'm yeah. pretty sad. I'm but happy, here. mixed emotions. I don't even know how I feel. Get me out of here. I'm Alex, done. This is done. I'm so overpacking now. I me too. Too. Yeah, we're over it. This is the last room we're in today. So basically what we're doing today is this is the room that's got all our stuff. Well, majority of our stuff in it that we want to put in the boat and put in the car and take to Brisbane, um, Sunshine Coast to put in the caravan. Some of it's sell, some of it's bin. Some of it's to go to Victoria and stay at Victoria. Some of it's for the caravan. But majority of it needs to go in the boat and in, in the car. So if you're wondering why am I saying the boat, because we're taking my timber boat 
to Sunshine Coast with it, with all this stuff full. And then Steve from Sunrise Caravans is putting my boat on one of his trucks back to Melbourne. And then we'll be picking up the caravan and towing the caravan back to Victoria. It's actually really hard the way that we've done it. I was saying to Luke last night, if we had done it like, you know, the caravan, oh my God, I'm getting eaten by mozzies. If today. we had the caravan, originally. If we had the caravan out the front, it's like you're packing the caravan so you can visually see if things are going to fit or not. Yeah, originally that was what we were going to do, but we ran out of time. For us to go there and come back, we would have chewed too much time. It would have been a bit expensive to go in there, coming back, and then driving back to the van. That's exactly what we said, because we it was like, well, the van's only just hit Sunshine Coast this week. Yeah. It's our last week of rent, so it wouldn't have lined up anyway. No. So it's all worked out, it's meant to work out. Like, I believe that. I don't know if I showed you what the kitchen area looks like, but TV sold, the wall unit sold. Rocco is still on our bed. Get off the bed, Moodgy. Everything's pretty much sold in here now. Tomorrow morning we wake up. We will pack the car today, majority of the car and the boat. Um, but we'll get up tomorrow morning. We're going to be out here around 9 o'clock because we've got the cleaners coming in to do the final clean. So we don't want to be in their way. And then we're off to Townsville. We've got to hand the keys in and then we're done. Townsville. And it's going to be crazy because the house we're staying at in Townsville is the one that we stayed in when we were moving up to Cairns. So it's actually yeah, going to be... trippy. So, okay, get started. Salvos hey? Salvos are going to love us. Please. No, is it? Yeah. Alright, so we're just at the front of a A R B. We're picking up the roof racks for the you said that. Yeah I know ARB <laughs> and we're picking up the roof racks the roof racks for the rooftop of boat. Yeah, so we're the just running. Bars. We're just running around at the moment. So lucky Luke remembered this this morning because I completely forgot about it. Man, hey. how can I forget about taking the boat? Right. Where is it? Oh, that's it there? Yeah, it looks like it. Right in a rack. Yeah. They're actually pretty fucking sturdy, heavy. Yeah? Yeah, that's heavy. Good. Yay! Thanks, mate. You wrapped? Jackpot, baby. Let's go. We're going to set it up at Brisbane. Yeah, in Sunshine Coast, we'll set it up before we get the boat. It's just easier, we're running out of time now in Cairns. Plan is now get home, keep going, steam clean the bedrooms, pack all our stuff, organize it all. I decided, oh, yeah, I decided. And then Luke decided after decided I decided what? that I was like, listen, I don't think we'd pack the car in the boat tonight. It's raining anyway. Yeah, it's pouring down rain, number one. But number two is like, I've still got a lot of washing and stuff that I've got to get through. So I kind of feel like putting it all in one area and then as like, you know, washing's done, we'll put it in and so on and so forth. Organize yeah. it properly. I think the hardest thing about packing is like, if I was just, you know, packing the van, it's like beautiful, it's packed. But I was saying to Luke, this is a bit tricky because we're packing for the next five days on the road down to Sunshine Coast. And then we're staying in Sunshine Coast for a week and we don't get the van for a week. And then we've got to put everything in the van. So I think if, if it was just Luke and I, not an issue, like just shorts and different pair of shorts and a different t-shirt every second day, so to say. But with the girls, it's just a bit tricky. Um, so it's making it a little bit more complicated, but we will get there. Look hey. at the weather we copped. I know, the Cairns last is day. sad. The last day, man. Cairns is sad that we're leaving. Like, look at it. We're sad too, Cairns. Don't worry, but we'll be back. Hey. Okay? <sighs> I'm all right, sweating. Alex is steam cleaning all the carpets. Look at that. Look at Alex, well done. Gross. Hey, high five. Oh, even Aria's room's done. Look how yeah, clean, so clean. Her room's empty. There's not a thing that we own in here. Hey. That's it. Aria, your room's completely empty now. It's no longer- Can't go in there. No. It's no longer your room now. It's gonna be someone else's room now. What's the last room? Cause you're getting your house on wheels, yeah? And we just had a call with Steve from Sunrise Caravans before I did this and our van is officially in the Sunshine Coast it's waiting there. for us. Steve's like, do you want to see it? I was, I was going to say, because he said a sneak peek and I was like, all oh, right, just the outside. No, I was no, like, no, 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 no. no. Yeah. And then I said straight away, no. We don't want a sneak peek. We're going to wait until we get there. We're going to share it with you guys, okay? Four more days until we get to see this van. We're literally leaving tomorrow, what, just after late morning. We're going to leave and hand the keys in. We're thinking we're not going to fit everything in the boat and in the car. Well, I, oh, I said that. 
I knew we weren't. We're I knew we had to cleanse again. If we didn't know... And Alex was confident that we'll do it. It's not the van. This stuff would fit in the van. But that's what I was got. trying to say to you. We've got, we got a small timber boat that's 4.2 metres long with, with a patrol. Like, mate, we put, the, we put Scarlet's pram in the patrol in the back. Takes up half of it. Like, well, this is my issues. I didn't think about the pram, Rocco's dog crate. The boot's gone. Yeah, do Rocco's dog yeah. crate is like having a Waco. Anyways, we'll no, see. No, I can't. We don't cull. know. I'm not culling anymore. That's it. Make it well, work. then we're gonna make it work. That's it. Sorry, <laughs> I've culled enough. We're gonna have to throw something. Baby, you gotta make it work for me. I'm, I'm just. I, I'm just looking around. So she. No, no we. I reckon we'll do it. We always what are you do it. Say? I was gonna say she didn't want to take the mattress with us, but I was just joking. No. Um. We we we, we always we always do it. We I always know. Do. We do. We'll make it we work. We do. We always make something. We'll make it happen. It does always happen. It, we're going to make it happen. I'm telling Mate, you. Mate, if gonna, I have to get a happen. rental car and drive a rental car <laughs> behind you tomorrow with a U-Haul trailer and drop it off in Sunshine Coast, so be it, man. But it's, it's coming. There's no question if or but. It's coming. She wants it to work. We have to make it work, so. Huh? What'd you say? Wink, wink. Is that what you said? No, I said we. Oh, we, yeah. All right, what are we doing now? I'm gonna keep steam cleaning while she's got her eyes open. Two rooms down, Mickey, you smashed that out. I know, I'm pretty good. All right, so it's 7.31 at the moment and we're still going. I gotta show you what this looks like in a second. But Alex just said something to Aria that really hit home. What did you say to Aria? So it's bedtime, guys. And this is the last time that Aria is going to sleep in this house. Is that okay? It's sad, isn't it? That's it. This is our last night here now. One whole year. Let me turn everything around so we've put everything in the kitchen <laughs> that we want to take, that we need to put in the boat and in the car and yeah, take down I, to Sun... I, I can hold it. Yeah, so we've got everything in the kitchen that we need to take down to Sunshine Coast and... We have to do a cleanse, do we? Yeah. This is the now last seeing cleanse. it all together, it's like, yeah. Look. Yeah, look at it all. But this is everything. Everything we now own. So now let me ask you a question. Do you reckon we're going to fit it now? Are we fit it in the van, yes. But I don't think we're going to fit it in the car in the boat. But like I said, we will work it out. 100%. We're very lucky to, I'm... like I said to Luke the other night, we've got friends up here, Holly and Connor. And we've so lucky like to have met some amazing people up here like Connor and Holly. Like they left the other night and we were like far out. Like it's one thing to love where you live, let alone in the last 12 months. Like we've... We've met some really great yeah. people as well. And well, like, I know that I can say to Connor, like, Connor, can I leave a couple boxes? And he, he'll work it out for me, which is great. Yeah. They've really helped us a lot, so we appreciate them so much. Yeah. Man. It's nice to have, you know, met some amazing people here too, but it just makes it that much harder leaving us. Yep. We're going to put the gills down. Rocco's on the hunt for some food. Scarlett's sleeping in a room by herself tonight because we need to keep packing heat. Yeah. Rock. Rocco sounds like Chinese food. Ew, don't. Yeah, Anyways, we'll see you later. We'll put Luke. the we'll, we'll put the kids down and we'll see you go. I'm tired now. We've been doing this. How long have we been unpacking for? Oh, like solidly I, like a I'm, week and a half. I'm finding it harder to do this house. The reason for that is because we're in a bigger house now, so we've gathered so much more stuff. When we're in our old house that we moved to Cairns in, we it was such a tiny house and we didn't have as much as this. Maybe we had more. No, that was hard. This, I find this a bit harder. Excuse you me. Reckon? Yeah. It's harder to. Do you know? Because you know, we had a U Haul trailer and it was big. Yeah, that and number two, my mum was looking after Ari. Yeah. So it was just you and I every single day together just smashing um, it out. That would be done by like four or five. But when you're like, okay, now we've got to stop for a bottle, stop for a nap. Yeah, we mm. can't steam clean because Scarlett's asleep. Like, like half the day today, we we're just like looking after parents. Scarlett yeah, and Ari. <laughs> Which way? We'd clean up an area and get everything prepared. And then Aria would come, rip everything out that she wants to play with and just scatter it everywhere. We'll clean it. Yeah. Um, look, she's still going now. Look. But kids, that's life. That's what, it, that's what we signed up for. And they're the best bit about it. Yeah. What we're doing now is we're just going through our clothes again. Have to. Seeing what we don't want and going through it. Whatever we don't want, we've got a pile there for rubbish. Salvos. And then we've got everything in it we're going to keep. I've already got five jumpers. And I haven't even got to the hoodies yet. I don't need that much. What's that for? That's hoodies. That's for you to keep? Me? No. Well, this is what I was keeping. So that It's because we, we had so much washing. I just want to stack it, and then I want to look at all my options and choose my top three. It's hard. It's not easy. I didn't realise how much stuff I've got. Like, 
So we've got piles of clothes here that we're gonna go through again and cleanse. Mine, 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 bin, and mine. Alex's, Alex's. Fuck, you haven't got that many. I've cleansed, but I, like that's all jumpers. I don't need that many jumpers. I'm gonna be chasing the sun, surely. We're not gonna do the full circle. No, we wanna go where it's good weather. Yes. Chase the sun. Where it's hot, we're gonna go. Yeah. You're looking, looking for me, me, baby. You know you can find me following the sun. Tell me this doesn't look better. We just cleansed all of that. That's rubbish. <laughs> look at this. You can actually see the tiles in between all the clothes. <laughs> They're crushing it. Alex managed to squeeze all our clothes. Not squeeze, it was easy. It was easy? It wasn't hard. Into his bag. This is all That's our clothes that we're taking. Both of ours. That pile is Sunshine Coast, like to get yeah. down to Sunshine Coast. This is everything you and I will wear in the van. Like, come on. Oh, look at all these coat hangers we got too. Anyone need coat hangers? All right, so it's the next morning. Alex got up super early and started. <sighs> and we've done a lot compared to last night. We're just putting some globes in. I don't know, really. <laughs> It's one of those like pull together confusions now, but I think once we start putting things into the car yeah, and like get rid of the rubbish. We just got to start packing. There's only a little bit of rubbish to get rid of um, and pack the car really and just do a final like sort of tidy up. Throw these um, mattresses on the skip bin. Rocco's bed's going to go, isn't I it? I don't think we're going to fit it all. We don't know if we're going to fit it. It's just no, the boat, around. the boat, the boat so small. And we still got the garage. So got and anyways. Got swag in the boxes at the front door. But it is what it is. We're working out. But looking now I'm like But you gotta see the garage. So the garage still got some stuff in there, but I'm confident we'll get it all now. So we still got all this to take, but before I do anything else, I took the boat or I took the trailer when I took the car to get the bearings done on them. Now they've put the cap back on that side. But when I look on the other side. They didn't put the cap on on this side. So we bring it, Alex is bringing everything outside. So now we're about to pack the boat and the car. Yeah. Air compressor, we need to always have access to that. Because if something happens and we need to get the spare. Hey, hold that. Most of this is going to fit in the car. But is that all we've got? It's just that? I think the there's like one more bag, if that. Like there's F all. But like, look at that already. That's already got up. Four boxes, one bag of clothes, a porta pot for tonight, Rocco's dog cage, Aria's blanket. About to get the pram in there now. So everything that can get wet, I reckon we just put in the boat. If we didn't have Rocco's bed, we would have fitted everything in the car, I reckon. So now we're starting to chew up inside of the patrol. We've got the Starlink here. And then we've got... Oh, we've got the middle seat too, Al. Well. Scarlett's nappy bag and the sterilizer like bottle bag for overnights in the center. Just for that easy access. Yeah, I want to have a shower as well. I'm sweating hard, the humidity. My clothes are wet from the rain. Like, I'm just, yeah. We're nearly there. These ones and those ones. This isn't bad. Maybe we should have a baby every time we move so I can do these. I can get these. And that. And hmm. these. And the other. I'm hanging to use this on the yeah. fire. Thinking. <laughs> pretty much done mate we fitted everything now it shouldn't be too heavy for the boat i don't think so we always do man we always make it work eh? i don't know how but somehow all right the boat is fully fully loaded now we're going to strap it up i don't think we're going to put a tarp on it it's stopped raining now but we've got to make it to townsville today so we'll see what happens hopefully we'll make it there okay all right this is it Below. All right, we're ready to rumble. And it's all done. How crazy! It's sad. 